Hey, how we going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Food with Dread. Sev here. So back in Townsville, I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of episodes of our trip to Sydney. Okay, so we're here at Spicy Heaven. The reason why we're in Spicy Heaven is because I've seen their promos on Facebook get popping up. You know, I've seen it a few times. And let me tell you, they've done a good job with their promo because it's made me want to come and check out their food. The photos, uh, the descriptions of the food. Uh, it looks amazing, looks amazing. And it's a beautiful day here in Townsville. We came out this afternoon to walk with the girls and my wife. We were having a beautiful stroll down the Strand. And I thought, that's right, Spicy Heaven, that's just down the road from the Strand. Let's go check it out. So that's why we're here today. Really looking forward to it. Oh, I'm going to have a look at the menu now. But in saying that, you know, I am going to do what I normally do and ask them to recommend something for me. I think I will ask for two dishes, I think. Um, really want to try everything from this menu. All right, guys, we're going to start with a couple of drinks. We've got the Mango Lassi here, which I'm going to try right now. Mmm. Oh wow. Yeah, that's nice. Very creamy. A little bit spicy, a little bit of a spice to it. Which is obviously the cardamom, you know, that gives it that flavour. And um, yeah, wow. It's different. It's good. I like it. Really nice. Okay, and the other drink we got is the faluda. Mmm, nice faluda here. Mmm. Oh wow, that's nice. A call vermicelli mixed with rose syrup. Uh, sweet basil seeds served with vanilla ice cream any taste wow amazing beautiful yum yum that's really nice yeah and something like a little bit of pistachio nuts on top as well mm. that's beautiful absolutely beautiful great start the drinks are absolutely beautiful mm. So I'm not sure what I want to order. Uh, I'm going to leave it entirely up to you, to you guys in the kitchen. I want you to bring me whatever you think I should have here. The two two plates. Should I get two mains and an entree, or just two mains? What should I get? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Two I two can entrees. Eat the veggie samosa. It's very nice. Yeah. It's very nice flavor. Yeah. And fish cutlet. Yeah. It's very nice flavor and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good for the entree. Yeah. And and two mains. And maybe it's a main course in the. What do you biryani. recommend? It's a chicken biryani, it's very nice. Chicken biryani, is that what you think I should have? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I give you the goat the curry. The goat curry? Yeah, yeah, that sounds incredible. It's very famous one. It's is very it? Famous dishes, yeah. Oh, beautiful, <laughs> damn, that sounds great. How long have you guys been here? Uh, just not even one year. Not even one year? Yeah, yeah so wow. Yeah, okay. And so your food is, uh, I think I read on the online, it's like South Indian, Sri Lankan? Sri Lankan, Indian combination of food. Yes. Okay, beautiful, man, beautiful. Looking forward to it, man, looking yes. forward to it. Thank All right, awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, and the excitement starts here. We got our first dish of the day, which is the samosas, the vegetarian samosas. Oh, look, I'm going to I'm gonna have to excuse you. I'm going to use my hands. I think I'm going to, I just feel like I need to eat this with my hands, right? Oh, that's a nice pastry. Yum. Yeah, um, yeah, that tastes like it's been made here, not bought. That's really fresh, really nice pastry. And um, so it's a vegetable samosa with peas, potatoes filling, wrapped in homemade crust pastry, served with a tamarind chutney. So let's give that a go, eh? Mm. Wow, that's really, really good. If you can see that, that's so good. Tastes beautiful, great flavor packed that's packed with flavor <laughs> it's packing a punch of flavor that one it's beautiful the pastry as i said is beautiful that chutney tamarind chutney is oh my goodness so good just a little bit of sweetness to go with this vegetable flavors and spices beautiful vegetable samosa probably uh, one of the best i've had in a while mm. chicken pakora is beautiful thank you so much thank you. awesome yeah. thank you Oh, look at these girls. Mm, thank you very much. Um, chicken pakora, $14.90 for this one. It's a bite-sized boneless chicken, deep fried with authentic spices and chickpea flour. Is this the same chutney one that we got before? Yeah, I think so. It smells, I think, the same. Let's try this, uh, this chicken pakora. Oh, yum. Wow. Wow, that tastes really good. That chicken's full of flavor, cooked perfectly. Wow. Oh, that is so good. I said, look, it's a chickpea um, coating and it's absolutely beautiful. Thin layer, very tasty. The chicken's very nice. Mm. So far, everything's been absolutely amazing. And it's only the entrees. 
Okay, and what we've got here now, also another entree. Uh, this is a fish cutlass, $14.90 also. It's a boneless fish fillet steamed with Sri Lankan herb spices served with tomato sauce. Mmm. All right, let's try this on now. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna keep using my hands. I don't know why I keep I'm grabbing this. I'm gonna use my hands. Let's have a look. Whoa, look at that. Nice. Oh, it smells good. Fish cutlets, let's have a look. Oh, I should have tried it without the sauce first. Mm. Fish cutlets, wow, beautiful again, packed full of flavor. Uh, it's a different coating once again, so that's three different things we have with different coatings. Uh, obviously, the first one was a pastry, the last two have been coating. It's more like a, like a breadcrumb coating. Very crunchy and not too, the fish is not too overpowering. Like there's plenty of flavors in there, spices, have some spices in there. That it's not overpowered just by the fish flavor. That's really, really, really good, really good. And unlike the chicken, uh, this fish cutlet ones, they, this got it, packs a little bit of a punch, a little bit, a bit of a spice to it, you know? Oh. oh. What is that, sorry, which one's this one? Hapos combo. Okay, awesome, thank you so much. Wow, look at this. All right, and this is one of the main reasons I came here. This is one of the photos, or, oh, you know, the photos that I kept seeing pop up on Facebook was with these uh, hoppers that you can see here. Um, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to come and try. I, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. How do you eat it? I probably should have asked. Um, but yeah, this looks amazing. Like this, what is this? What is this texture here? It's so thin. Oh, yum. What is that? I oh, know, but it's got a bit of a, got a bit of a taste of coconut on that. It's really, really, really thin. I'll show you. Look at that. Oh, what do we got here? So it's the chicken biryani. Oh, the biryani, chicken biryani. Yeah, Mango chutney, yeah. So how do I eat this one? Do I just put everything in here and roll it? How, how do you normally yeah, eat this one? It's kind of like roti. Have you, uh, have you eaten roti? Roti? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The hopper is like that, but it's uh. the steelen car. Okay, and what, and what are these? What have we got here? Uh, it's the coconut assemble and the onion, uh, caramelized onion. Caramelized so onion. It's kind of yeah. like spicy. Okay. Sri Lankan, eh? Here we go. Oh, this is going to be spicy, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it already. I'm gonna grab a knife, get a little piece of this. Wow. Just wanna try this on its own because this looks unbelievably good. Mm. I love mm. the chicken. You love the chicken? Oh, it's good. Want another one? Mm. Yeah, just one. Wow, the flavor in that is so good. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm gonna grab some of this chicken, put it in here with the egg. I don't know. So, what do you reckon, babe? Put that in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it all in here. Put the coconut Little. sambal. Uh -huh. Put a coconut sambal in there as well. How's that? Yeah. Nice. Caramelized onion. So let's get a bit of that in there as well. Oh, this is, looks amazing. And so far, everything's tasted great. I'm so happy we came here. Um, and like I said, guys, doing a great job with the advertising on Facebook because that's what brought us here. So, all right, and get the egg and a bit of that. Yum. I actually get it. Actually, I might break some of this, like that, and then I'm going to... Mm. Oh, wow. That's like nothing I've ever tasted before. Definitely, it's, it's, yeah, that's amazing, that's so good. So, so, so good. Oh, it's spicy. I don't know which part of this. I think it might be the. I don't, yeah, I don't know which part of the uh, spicy. If it's, I think it's probably the curry, the ch chicken curry. Well, okay. Let's get some more of this sambal up here. Some more onion. Hmm. Hmm. Well, guys, you need to come and try this. This is really good. Also, guys, keep sending those recommendations of places to go and check out. Please, I love checking out new places, and please send me a recommendation to go and get some good Indian food. But yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting just, you know, your typical Indian food. And it obviously has that Sri Lankan twist to it. It's absolutely beautiful. Different, completely different. Okay, guys, I have been forgetting to tell all the prices, but look, let me put it this way. Most of the dishes here are around the 27. 26, 27, 28 mark for each, uh, each dish. So, which is average. It's normally what you pay at any restaurant. And now we've got the chicken biryani, which I'm very excited for. 
Oh, it smells really good. It looks really good too. I like the presentation, what they've done. I love this spoon too. That's pretty cool. Well, that looks nice. Some nuts on the top. We've got some chutney here to go with it. Might actually use my plate. Oh, this is so good. So, so, so good. All right. I'm gonna grab some of this. Oh, nice. Yeah. Everything's really sensational. I was gonna say really good, but no, it's better than good. It's sensational. Really, really good. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying our food. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so, so much. All right, here we go. Chicken biryani. Wow, that looks good. Looks good and smells good. The aromas are coming from this dish. Sensational. I'll show you this. Can you see that in there now? So you got your rice on the bottom with all the uh, the chicken. Oh, let's get some of this egg. Is this an egg? Sure, it's an egg. Looks like an egg. Yeah, here we go. We'll leave this one for Lini. She can try that. I want to try a bit of this. Actually, let's put a bit more on these plates. All right, let's try this out, huh? Mmm. And again, wonderful, wonderful flavors, beautiful. That one's actually a bit mild, that's not as spicy. It's not spicy at all, actually. You could eat this, Alexia, Emily, if you want some uh, nice chicken curry, this is nice for use. It's not spicy at all. It's actually got really nice fragrant flavors. Wow, this is so, so, so good. Definitely be coming here again. Um, this chicken brownie is insane. That fluffy saffron rice. As it says <laughs> on, on the on the menu, it said it was fluffy. It is fluffy. It's beautiful, well cooked. Mm. That's amazing, guys. This is really good. And you know what? There's two times now that I've been to a place where it's just like a like a smallish little place. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I went to Otto's Italian job and that was just like a little restaurant, like a, you know, hole in the wall type of restaurant sort of thing. And the food there was amazing, you know. So you don't have to go, what I'm getting at is you don't have to go to a huge, fancy, huge restaurant and get absolutely beautiful food. You know, you can go to a little restaurant sometimes and there you're hidden gems. Uh, and this is definitely a hidden gem here in, in Townsville. There hasn't been one dish that I've gone, oh, yeah, that's average, that's okay. Plan, you know, it's got a beautiful hope. No, everything's been sensational. I'm like, wow, wow. The other thing is we're right here on the Strand too, so like we you know 200 metres uh, from the beach, from the Strand. Um, so it's a great location too, you know, you come for a walk like we did in the afternoon, walked up and down the Strand a bit with the girls and then come and enjoy some beautiful dinner. Okay, here we go, last dish of the night and we got the goat curry, which again smells really nice. And also what we got here is some cheesy naan. You can't you can't not have some cheesy naan, you know, like you gotta, if you go to somewhere, they do naan, like an Indian restaurant, or in this case, Indian Sri Lankan restaurant, you gotta try the naan, you know. So, I'm gonna give that a go first. I think what we might do is try, ooh, it's nice and hot too, is try this, uh, this naan, very hot. Yeah, that's where I've been cooked well, it's not too, um, you know, there's been times where I get a naan and they don't cook it right through, and, and the center of it gets, it's still a little bit raw. Um, not the case with this one. It's it, it's it's really good. I want to actually dip it into this curry. curry. I want to dip it into this um, goat curry. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And as as I smelt it, yeah, that's got more of that Indian flavour too. Uh, the distinctive Indian Indian flavour you get in curries, and it's a good one too at that. Really, really good. So I get a bit of a uh, steamed rice to go with this curry. Again, looks really nice and fluffy beautiful jasmine rice and let's get some of this curry happening oh this is chili too just a little bit of uh of the of the sauce it had on the nun but i just say okay now it's coming through now it's a bit of a delayed chili kick this one. <laughs> oh wow See it? All right, let's give this a go. But oh, this smells incredible. Oh, that just fell apart. I just went to cut into that goat. Just went to cut into that goat meat, and it just look, it just came off the bone. Look at that. 
clean, clean off the bone. Beautiful. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. And it's got a great kick to it. Like I like it. That's got a mad chili kick to it. Ooh, very nice. Packed full of flavour once again. This dish, um, chili, spices, herbs. Yeah, this is just incredible. Slight, uh, slight flavour of the coconut. But yeah, that braised bone goat curry. Wow, wow, definitely having this again. Mm, beautiful. You know what? I'm. We we're just talking before with a wife and. I don't know if she's going to try this, it's a bit too chilly for her but trying to pick a, a favourite dish here tonight, I don't think I'm going to be able to What's been your favourite? I don't know, I can't pick a favourite I can't pick a favourite, this is, they're all individually good and have their all in individual flavours, you know We couldn't leave without trying one of the desserts, a Sri Lankan dessert in this case the Watalapam This uh, Sri Lankan coconut custard pudding Watalapam Oh yeah, <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. Oh, beautiful coconut, little caramel, a bit of caramel taste, a bit of coconut. Um, oh, it's like a, you know what it's like? It's like a flan, a Sri Lankan type of flan. A put, put, or Brazilian pudding. Portuguese, they say pudding. Spanish, we say flan. That's what this is like. But obviously, the Sri Lankan one. Mm. Very soft, very fluffy, very airy inside. Oh, that's amazing. That's really good. I was really full. I was going to eat anymore, um, but I went in there to pay, and they said, "Oh, you want to, you want to try some dessert?" I said, "Oh, all right. You're going to twist my arm like that? <laughs> I'll give it a go." But you yeah, know, really good, really good this dessert. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give us a like, a comment, and uh, we'll catch you the next one. God bless. Peace.